We love these dog tray dog e-collars. They're a really helpful training tool to have on hand. If you've never used an e-collar, I highly recommend you consult a professional dog trainer or go ahead and watch the videos that Dogtra has on their website. They're really, really helpful. I'm just gonna give you a few tips and tricks that I've learned over the years from using a professional trainer and having these for many years. So let's talk about the remote. The remote has two options because there's the two dog, um, this is the two dog control. So I have the black collar and the orange collar, which correspond in color here, so I don't mix up which dog I'm talking to. So I can vibrate a collar by pressing these buttons. And then over here, this is where you can shock. Um, on this collar, there is a little toggle right here that is Nick versus continuous, the N and the C, Nick and continuous. Um, if you go down to continuous, that means you can hold this and it will continue that shock for a certain set amount of time. If you do Nick, it'll just be a really snap quick shock. Now up here, you can control the level of shock. So you can turn it up and down and you're really gonna have to learn your dog and figure out which um, level is necessary for them to feel it and respond to it. Um, right now I have it on five and I can even hold this shock collar right here in this meaty part of my hand. And I'm just like, you can just, I don't even feel that absolutely nothing so you can control the exact level of shock that you want again lower numbers i can't i couldn't even tell when i just did this on myself a few other things to note about this is these are fully waterproof which is really helpful so to charge them we have a charger like this and it has space for all three to plug in at the same time which is just really convenient you're not tracking down multiple chargers how it works is that they have these little metal, I mean, sorry, these rubber pieces here. You just pull them out and the charger just pops right on in here. And then when you're done charging, you pop this back in and it's fully chargeable. They also have these lights here on the side, which blink green. You'll be able to see it in a moment to know that it's on and charge. And if I press and hold down this power button, you'll see that it turns red. So now I know that this collar is off. Another great thing about the dog trick collars is that it's a really flexible plastic. And so we just went ahead and we actually trimmed this because we have a smaller dog. So there wasn't so much of the plastic collar flapping around on her neck. So that's a really great option with these two. Let me show you how to place them on your dog. All right, come here, sit. So I'm gonna go ahead and place this around her neck. And you wanna have these prongs on the side of the neck. You don't want them underneath so that it's easy for them to breathe. So you're just gonna place it right here on the side and then tighten it to your desired tightness. You want to be able to fit two fingers underneath. So whenever you pull it, you wanna be able to have two fingers fit. So that's how you know it's correct. And then you just put it on here and it will just sit right where you expect it to be on their neck. So again, I find these to be really helpful tool. It has a nice long range so you can shock or vibrate your dog, a great distance if you're going off leash. They're really helpful tool, great for training as well.